Hey guys, I know it's been like forever since I've posted, so I got something going on tonight. Uh, we got some squash, and I had a Boston butt uh, cut up in slices so that uh, we can throw this on the grill, kind of like a like a southern pork uh, rib. It's not really a rib, but they sell it in the stores that way, um, so that you can. <clears throat> it's almost like a pork steak. I don't know if you can see that, but that is pretty big so we're um we're gonna slap some of this stuff down real quick and uh, get this thing screaming i got the grill nice and hot once it starts smoking i used to use uh the digital thermometer the laser thermometer for it uh, look when that thing starts smoking from the oil that you put on it the last time you cooked uh that thing is ready to go so I'm going to obey the griddle. Hope you guys have all <clears throat> been doing great. It's been forever since, uh, listen to that. It's been forever since uh, I posted. It's just been a whole lot going on. But I am absolutely back. Miss you guys. Now, they actually, um, so this is what they consider bone-in, and that's okay because when you cook this, it's going to literally fall right off the bone. So, we're going to let that just go crazy on that grill. As you can see, it, it's, uh, she hot. She hot. So... <clears throat> All right. Hope everybody had a good day. All right, we're gonna get some butter. And I just turned the heat down. I, the heat, I wanted it to get plenty hot because that's a lot of meat over there cooking, so I know I needed it. Make a nice little pool of butter there. And I'm going to take the squash and dump it out. So I cut it. I cut it thick. I didn't. I didn't uh, slice it up like I normally do. Try something a little different. Just change up on y'all a little bit. Get a little more butter on it. Yeah, we're going to use this whole stick. That's good for right now. <clears throat> That's good for now. I don't have to make too much of a mess. Alright, so I have salt, pepper, and some onion powder going on. These are so daggone good. Um, you know, again, it's just a Boston butt and uh, put on a bandsaw and then just push through the bandsaw about uh, double finger width um, slices. Pork steaks. It's a poor man steak. Uh, I can tell you what, I'll take this over a steak as good as this is. So um, we're going to let this cook for a little bit. Um, let the squash go ahead and start its thing. And we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm not going to draw all this out. It's going to be a quick dinner tonight. As you can see, it's a ton of meat. you got your nice sides. And, uh, you know, we're going to throw all this stuff together in about 15, 20 minutes. And we're going to have an awesome meal. So don't go anywhere, and we'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and pull the squash off. I don't want to burn it. I might just get a little sear on it. You can usually tell when it's getting to that point by 
this is kind of a distinct smell that it has. So let's pull all of this off. Smells really good. And look how soft it is. It's falling apart. Yummy. All right, so we're going to sip that. All right, I'm going to cut this one eye off over here to the farthest side. And here's the, the fork. And I, I trimmed the fat off of it because it's, uh, it's so much of it. Boy, it's going to be fine cleaning this grill. You can see that all these things are cooked. So they're good. But I would definitely want to make sure I get it hot. So I want to get it to temp. And I got some really good sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy. This stuff is so good. Uh, Z Hughes. Um, if you haven't tried it, they sell it in Walmart. And uh, I'm telling you, for a sugar-free barbecue, oh man, it's like amazing. You can get it on Amazon too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I just want to get a little bit. I gotta cut my grill down. Once it starts smoking like that, I know I cut my grill a little hot. A little hotter than it needs to be. So yeah, I'm gonna let this um I'm gonna spread this out, let it caramelize. This is cooked, there's no reason to burn it. I don't wanna burn it up, so just spread it out. Give it a minute. It'll start thickening up. But, um, you know, sugar-free barbecue sauce, kind of hard to find. You gotta, when you find it, you gotta, like, stockpile it because so many uh, different places, they just don't carry it. All right, so I'm gonna give that a minute. And then I'm gonna flip it. <clears throat> And then hit the other side, make a really big mess on the grill, but that's okay. And then um, we'll uh, let it cook for a couple minutes, pull it off, and be good to go. So, matter of fact, let's go ahead and flip it. Don't drag it when you turn it over and lay it down. And that that uh, That barbecue sauce is staying, buddy. Woo! Man, if y'all could smell that. Gracious. And these are cut thick, so they won't dry out. Just so, uh, if anybody's wondering. That's why I like to cut them, you know, just a little, little thicker than normal. Now, awesome wife says she cleaned the grill tonight. That's awesome. Actually, there's so much, uh, just with the fat and the grease and the oil, honestly, it, it'll come up. It'll scrape right off. But it, it's uh, cooked all the way through, so it's ready. Let's give this a minute.
<laughs> Stuff is jumping all off the grill. I don't try to get any on me. You smell the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce? How good mm -hmm. does that smell? It smells good. Oh man, that's got a nose full. Ooh. Okay. Um, the butt is coming right off the bone, so I just kind of put the bones over to the side. Um, I won't really. That'll that'll come right off. That's you know another another indicator that she's cooked is uh, when it falls off the bone. So. All right. Let's see. Which one will it be? I do it look. Hmm. All right, guys. I am. I'll be right back. And... First one, actually, let me try some of the squash. And I need to put some more butter and some Parmesan on it. But I'll try some right here by the grill. Mm. That's really good. Got that sear. I mean, that squash tastes like it just came out of the garden. That's what, you know, when you sear it, when you sear your vegetables like that, it really enhances that, that flavor. I mean, it... You can cook it in an oven or or steam it, boil it, however you do it. But when you sear it, it just releases that that flavor like you just can't get. Same with like corn. Um, man, it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we're gonna try the um, the pork. So, hot. Mm. Really good. One more bite. Oh man, that's good. So, definitely taste that. You got that good. Uh, Boston butt taste, that pork taste, and that barbecue sauce, uh, the sweet and spicy. Sweet is really good with pork. So like, um, like if you're smoking a butt, you know, I, I, I can't do the sugar keto, so I got to stay away from it. But, um, you know, but for someone who just regular diet, you want to do it, um, packing it. Uh, a really good, really good rub. Real simple. Uh, chipotle powder, barbecue powder, salt, pepper, uh, onion powder. Mix it all up in a bowl and uh, <clears throat> rub it with that and then uh, molasses. Take some molasses once you've done that and just kind of pour the molasses over top of it. And get every, get every, uh, every bit of surface of it. And that molasses, just kind of put it across the top. And when you put it in your smoker, um, the molasses will will soften up from the heat, and it'll actually wrap all the way around because it stays thick. It'll actually coat all the all the way around to the bottom side of it, and it gives you that really good uh, sweet taste with that little bit of heat from the chipotle and, and the barbecue. But man, this right here is on point. So it didn't take a long time. I mean, this is something 
If you can throw together in about 20 minutes, it's it's not a. Um, as you can see, that's. I like the, and that that is just the malat the uh, barbecue sauce that's uh, that's browned up and it caramelizes. So you got one, you know, on top that I didn't touch on the grill that's nice and sticky and thick, and that's when you put it on the grill, it'll just uh, cook it right into a crust, like that'll sear it into a crust. But um, very, 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 very good. Wish I could share this with somebody. Who wants dinner? Mm -mm -mm. Man, that is just like, boy, <laughs> that's the flavor train right there, guys. Gracious. You know what? Let me... I gotta, I gotta try it out. Let's try it out. Hot. Woo! Mmm. That's good. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. Guys, I'm sorry, it's sticking to my teeth. Man, that's good. All right, um, wow, that was amazing. Again, this is um, something we put together. Not not a lot of not a lot of thought, not a lot of effort. I mean, you know, and you can, as you can see, you can feed eight, ten people easy with this thing. So, um, we're gonna go outside and, and uh, have a little bit of this. So. Uh, I skipped breakfast today, so dinner is on the menu. Guys, um, I missed y'all. It's been a while since I posted before, so again, I just want to thank everybody who watches these videos. I'll tell you I love you. I uh, appreciate everybody out there. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and we'll keep uh, pumping these videos out and give you some ideas of some stuff. Um, all of this together right now. Your your uh, pork here, um, no sugar, very 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 little bit of carb in that uh, in that bottle of uh, sugar free barbecue sauce. Uh, if you went with like a sweet baby Ray's, if you're not looking for your the watch out for your sugar or your carbs, um, sweet baby Ray's is really good. But I'm gonna tell you, I'll I'll put that Hughes up against it. Um, if you're looking to cut down your sugar and carbs. Um, squash, you know, that's a no-brainer right there. Um, so really not, not, not a bad meal if you're, you know, what you eat in moderation. Like we'll, we'll eat, you know, small portions of this and, uh, you know, we got plenty left over and I may be taking, uh, sending some back to, with the kids to the school so they have something to eat. But, um, great dinner, real quick and easy. Love you guys. Definitely hang out for the next video, and uh, we'll see you when it comes around. Y'all have a great day.